Welcome back guys and girls and today is Mexican night. Fajitas are a family favorite and we're going the full hog. I'm talking steak, peppers, pico de gallo and guacamole. So let's get started. Mexican food staple spices are cumin, paprika and coriander and that's what we're starting off with marinating the steak. I chose rum steak because it's full of flavor and it's tender. You don't want to get a cheap cut because it'll be quite grisly and honestly not very nice in the fajitas. Ah yes, and before I forget, don't forget to take your steak out of the fridge and let it rest for about an hour before you cook it. You all know I love an air fryer, so of course I'm going to be cooking the steak in the air fryer. Guys, it's amazing. It's not dry, it's succulent, it's just perfect. So get that air fryer out and use it to cook your steak. I know that you don't tend to add oil in air fryers but I wanted an extra crispy topping for my steak so I added just a little bit of oil. Okay now I've got to show off so I've been growing peppers in my allotment and I thought what better time than now to use them. Guys I grew this purple pepper because I thought it was super cool um, but yes it was absolutely delicious and I just thought I'd take this opportunity to show off a little bit. Okay guys and girls, as this is an air fryer recipe, I thought I'd also cook the vegetables in the air fryer. So it's very simple, you just put everything in, add your spices, add a bit of oil and again pop it in that air fryer for about 15 minutes. It's perfect, crispy, delicious, done. Okay, and now we make the guacamole. So I've found that it's quite hard to get avocados that are really nice and creamy, but I've been to Costco the last few times and they have not let me down. So if you need some amazing avocados, head to Costco, get yourself some, they're great. So this is a basic guacamole recipe and the reason for that really is because I want to be able to taste all the other amazing flavours from the steak, from the vegetables and the pico de gallo so I've kept it very very simple, just some avocados and some salt and black pepper. You can also add garlic and lime juice to your guacamole if you'd like, you can also add a bit of coriander in there but like I said I'm keeping it simple for this one. Okay guys and girls, and now we're going to be making the pico de gallo. Look how colourful that is. It's as delicious as it looks, I promise.
Let me know in the comments if you're a coriander fan. So I've heard that coriander is a bit like Marmite, you either love it or hate it. But guys, I love coriander. If I could have it on everything, I would. Let's not forget the black beans which are another star of the show. They're super easy and they literally take like 5 minutes. So you can make these from dried beans or you can just grab a can like I have in the video, pop a bit of garlic in, some salt and simmer them down just to get that extra liquid out and then you're done and good to go. Okay, so we've got our steak, we've got our black beans, we've got our guacamole, peppers, pico de gallo, and we're ready to put it all together into our tortilla wraps. Guys, it's going to be delicious, I can already tell. Um, I like to have quite a lot of mayo in mine, but you can leave it out if you're not a fan. Thank you guys and girls for joining me for Mexican night and if you like the recipe don't forget to like, leave a comment down below, subscribe to the channel and click that notification bell so that you know when I've posted new videos. See you all soon, have a great weekend.